These hidden Fortnite game user settings tweaks can give you huge FPS boost on your any PC build. If you are having low FPS, lag, and FPS drop in Fortnite, so these Fortnite game user settings changes can drastically improve your PC performance and FPS in Fortnite Chapter 6. Some before starting this video, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and share your PC specs for free optimization suggestion according to your PC build. Starting off, let's dive into how you can access your game's user settings to optimize Fortnite performance. First, type percent local app data percent into the Windows search bar. This will bring up the appropriate folder, which contains various configuration files. You'll want to press F on your keyboard or scroll down to find Fortnite game, then follow this path. Saved, config, Windows client. Inside, you'll find a file named game user settings. Right click on this file and select properties. In the properties window, ensure that the read only checkbox in the attribute section is not ticked. Once you've unchecked it, click apply and then OK. Now you're ready to open the file and start making edits. Double click on this file to open it. Start by looking at the very first setting, Cosmetic Streaming Enabled. If it says Enable, change it to Disabled. This ensures that the game doesn't stream unnecessary cosmetic items in the background, which can reduce performance. Next, set Motion Blur to False. If it's set to True, simply change it to False. Motion Blur can reduce the sharpness of the game and can sometimes negatively affect performance, especially when you're trying to get the clearest view possible. For show grass, set this to false as well. Grass in Fortnite can be demanding on your system's resources, so disabling it can give you a smoother gaming experience. Now, let's move on to some more critical settings. Set GPU debugging to false, as this is only useful for developers. Stop rendering in background should also be set to false, ensuring that the game continues rendering while running in the background. For full anti-aliasing method, set this to disabled. Anti-aliasing is helpful for improving image quality, but can significantly impact performance, especially in fast-paced games like Fortnite. Enable DLSS frame generation should be enabled to boost performance. For FSE temporal super resolution, set the quality to custom and ensure that the DLSS quality is set to zero for better performance. Ray tracing should be false as well. Ray tracing can enhance visuals, but puts a heavy load on the GPU. For 120 FPS mode, Set this to false to avoid unnecessary stress on your system unless you have a high refresh rate monitor that can support it. Set the front end frame limit to 120 if you're targeting a higher FPS, but this setting is secondary to the previous adjustments. For energy saving, always have this set to false. This ensures that your system doesn't throttle down performance to save power, which can be counterproductive during intense gaming sessions. Your display gamma should be set to 27 with 5 zeros and interface contrast should be set to 160 for clearer visuals. Next, for Disable Mouse Acceleration, people often say this is placebo, but even if it is, placebo can psychologically work. So, set it to false instead of true, as many default settings are configured incorrectly. Both Allow Full Game Download and Allow Cellular Download should be set to false to avoid automatic downloads during gameplay, which can eat up resources and cause interruptions. Auto Launch 4 game should also be set to false to prevent the game from automatically launching on startup. For Download High Res MIPS, ensure this is set to false. High resolution MIP maps can consume unnecessary resources, so it's better to disable them. Use VSync and Dynamic Resolution should both be false, unless you're using VSync, which is generally not recommended unless your FPS is really low, less than 60 FPS. VSync can introduce input lag, so unless you're on a very low end PC, leave these settings off. Regarding resolution size X and resolution size Y, these should reflect your monitor's native resolution. For most people, this is 1920x1080, but if you're using a stretched resolution or a different aspect ratio, adjust these settings accordingly. For last confirmed full screen mode, make sure this is set to zero as it indicates full screen mode with the lowest input lag use. Preferred full screen mode should also be set to zero to ensure the game runs in full screen with minimal latency. For audio quality level, set this to zero for the highest audio quality. While low audio quality could theoretically save resources, it's not significant enough to make a noticeable difference, so most competitive players keep it at zero. When it comes to frame rate limit, set it to one above your monitor's refresh rate. For instance, if your monitor supports 144 hertz, set this to 144. This ensures your FPS remains in sync with your monitor, avoiding unnecessary frame drops. Now, let's focus on scalability groups. This setting is crucial. Resolution quality should be set between 90 and 99. If you have a low-end PC, you can lower it to 75, but anything below that will drastically reduce visual quality. Keeping it in the 90-99 range will maintain good graphics without sacrificing performance. For view distance quality and foliage quality, these should be set to zero. 
Foliage, in particular, can be demanding on your system, so reducing it to the lowest setting can free up resources for better performance. View distance quality should be set to 1 for medium, which helps render distant objects like weapons, making them appear quicker and improving responsiveness during fights. For all other settings, leave them at default or set them to low or zero for the best performance. Settings like friend invites or in-game pop-ups can slightly affect your FPS, so disabling them can reduce unwanted interruptions and keep your frame rate stable. Once you've made these changes, click File in the top menu and Save to apply your settings. And that's it! Your settings are now optimized for performance. It may seem like a lot of information to digest, but trust me, these changes will make a noticeable difference in how Fortnite runs on your PC. Let me know if you need any further assistance. Now it's time to download and install the System Optimization Pack to further enhance your PC's performance. You can download it directly from my official website. Once the download is complete, extract the contents to your desktop, and first, open the Windows Optimization folder. Inside, you'll find various files that are designed to automatically fix your Windows registries. Install all of them to get started. After you've installed the registry files, open the tool folder and run the application called Optimizer. The first step inside the Optimizer is to go to the General tab, which has several sections like System, App, Privacy, and Disk Drive settings. In the System tab, ensure that all settings are enabled. This will help optimize Windows by disabling unnecessary background services and programs that can eat up system resources. Turn on settings like Optimize Performance, Show All Notification Icons, Remove Menu Delay, Optimize Network, Disable Error Reporting, Disable Compatibility Assistant, and Disable Printer Services. Additionally, disable Sticky Keys, Smart Screen, and all other non-essential features by clicking on the respective buttons. Next, move on to the App tab. Again, make sure all settings are enabled to ensure optimal app performance and stability. In the Privacy tab, enable all the settings for enhanced privacy and to eliminate unnecessary data tracking by Windows. For the disk drive options, disable Superfetch and Hibernation, as these features can slow down your system. Keep the other settings at their default values unless you have specific needs to adjust them. If you're using Windows 10 or 11, there will be a tab specific to your version. Inside, you'll find more options like System, Privacy, Gaming, and Windows Update. In the Gaming section, turn on Game Mode to optimize your system for gaming. You should also disable Xbox Live and the Game Bar, as these can sometimes interfere with gaming performance. Under the Privacy tab, disable features such as Telemetry Service, Cortana, Enhanced Privacy, News and Interests, Smart Menu Ads, Edge Toolbar, and Edge Discover. Disabling these will prevent unnecessary background processes and reduce resource consumption. Next, head to the System tab and disable options like People, Sensors, and Virtualization-based security if they are enabled. These features are typically not needed for most users, and turning them off can improve your system's responsiveness. Now, navigate to the Windows Update tab. If you prefer to stop Windows from updating automatically in the background, you can disable automatic updates. However, I recommend keeping this setting enabled to ensure your system remains up to date with the latest security patches and improvements. Finally, after you've completed all the settings adjustments, click the restart button to apply the changes. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Feel free to ask any question in comment box. Peace out.